Hello and welcome to How To Automotive. So I came across a major uh, hurdle when I was doing a wheel bearing and the snap ring on this vehicle was stuck in the hub and I'm gonna share with you how I managed to work through the problem and get that snap ring out. So stay tuned for that. So the snap ring is rusted into the hub here. I got a new snap ring to replace. So I'm gonna walk you through my process of getting this out. So the first thing I did was spray it with penetrating oil and get it good and soaked. Before I started shooting this video, I tried for several minutes with a pair of uh, large snap ring pliers to get the snap ring out. And it's definitely frozen in there. So I'm gonna walk you through the process of what I did to get it out. So the first step I tried was like normal, like anybody would try is with the snap ring pliers, try to get it out and it's clearly uh, frozen. So with an impact hammer and a chisel bit, I went ahead and, and lightly vibrated on the snap ring all the way around it. What I'm trying to do is vibrate the uh, snap ring loose and break it free and let that penetrating oil vibrate, vibrate into the pores of the, uh, of the rust and metal to loosen it up. So I'm not giving the impact hammer full beans and full power. I'm just lightly pulling the trigger and getting it vibrating and just trying to get things moving here. So I'm just working around it. And a lot of times this right here is enough to, to break them free and then you use your snapping pliers and pull them back off. But in the case of this one, it still was frozen in there. It didn't really budge it at all. So I had to take drastic matters and move on to the next step. So I'm gonna decide I'm gonna cut the uh, snap ring since I got a new one. I'm gonna make an incision on it and I'm gonna try to break this out in pieces. So I went ahead and wiped out all the penetrating oil here and dried it off before I did this. And now I found a good spot about a halfway through the, the snap ring where it's the thickest. So I don't care if I cut the bearing race because we're pressing the bearing out, but I don't want to cut into the hub. So I want to cut through the snap ring and a little bit into the bearing race, and that's going to be fine. So you want to cut as deep as you can all the way through it without cutting into the hub. I also cut like a triangle style uh, cut, kind of like when you're chopping a tree down, you would cut a triangle to so you can kind of get it to fall the way you want it to fall. So that's what I did here. I, ang I angled the grinder here and cut in a different angle and cut a different groove in there. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to bend this out and pick it out. Once I made the cut, I went ahead and tried the snap ring pliers one more time just to see if it would, it would help uh, bend that up and pull it out. But it was still too rusted in there to do that. So, so now I switched back to the impact hammer with my blunt bit here and put it right on the where I made the incision here and just gave it the full beans here, just trying to jar it loose. And if you look closely, you can actually start seeing the, uh, the snap ring starting to move now. I'm getting movement out of it. Now, a lot of times, once you got movement, you can go ahead and put your snap ring pliers back in there and it, it would probably work. I created a little gap here, so I would just use a flat blade screwdriver here to get in there and just, just basically pry it out. So now I'm using a combination of snap ring pliers and a screwdriver here to pry it out. And it's working pretty well. I got a, the, a pretty good gap here. I was able to get the screwdriver in here and then wedge it in between and then just bend it and pry it out. So about three quarters of the snap ring came out, but a small piece of it remained into the groove here. So now I'm gonna have to chisel this out. And to do that, I just used a little drift punch and a, and a hammer in here. Just put it in the little ear here and just finish driving it out. Just put it at an angle right here. Tapped it a few times with the hammer and it, uh, luckily it popped right out. So now I made up a jig here and pressed the bearing out. And now I'm gonna show you how to clean this groove up here so you can put a new snap ring back in. So what I did was take the die grinder and put it right in the groove here with a cut, cut off blade and just lightly grind it the, uh, the snap ring area where it uh, rides or resides, uh, grinded it smooth and got all that debris and rust out of it. So this worked really well for getting that debris out of there. So I used the snap ring here just to gauge it to make sure everything's clean enough that it's gonna fit in there just right. So now I'm ready to clean out the inside of the hub, get any of the debris out of there, and then press in my new bearing here. So I set up a jig. I'm pressing from the outside of the bearing, not from the center of the bearing. I'm using the press to press the bearing in. 
Now we can install the snap ring here. So use a pair of snap ring pliers, squeeze it, and go ahead and install it back into the freshly cleaned out grooves here. As you can see here, it worked out really well. Everything fit perfectly. Now you can press in your hub and then reinstall on the vehicle.